Awesome. How's it going, guys? So we are here with episode one. We have titled it The Call. And so a part of what Brian and I had on our hearts is to... Well, actually, we'll step back a little bit. So I'm Casey. <laughs> I'm Brian. How's it going, guys? Welcome to our Facebook viewers, our Instagram viewers, and our YouTube viewers. Yes. We got a, like an 8-10 second delay on our YouTube, so sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so we have titled our podcast Reflecting Him. And so why we believe that the Lord really put this on our heart to start is to it is really in the matter of the fact we have so many resources available to share the gospel and to to try and get try and get the word of God out there in in as many ways possible. Yes. And so with that, it's it's going to social media. It, it's being brave. It's being courageous, and it, it's putting ourselves out there to to glorify God and what He does and what is He what He is doing in Brian and I's own personal life. And so, yeah. So we just really want to take the time to just really dive into um, to to sharing what the Lord's doing for us and to to be able to. To come in with you guys, to come in, to come in to, to battle and to, to our walks with the Lord and to, to share the testimonies and to have a platform to be able to share the testimonies. Amen, amen. Yeah, so the reason uh, why we kind of have it on our hearts, I felt it impressed on my heart to start this podcast with my brother, Casey. Uh, my brother and friend Casey, because um, there, the heart of Jesus is is um, is manifested through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and there are so many people out there that don't realize that they have the ability and the authority to walk in those gifts that they are given. Those gifts, um, some are given you know, uh, more of, of, of one gift than the other, but we'll go into that subject, um, later in a, in a different episode. But, um, the Holy Spirit has given us these gifts to, to be able to preach the gospel, to be able to manifest the heart of Jesus, um, through us by the spirit, uh, into the world and to be able to minister to the four, na four corners of the earth, um, in this power that God has called us to walk in. And so the, the the gist of it is that um, the heart of Jesus was put on my heart and the heart of Jesus was put on Casey's heart. And so we're starting this together to be able to give a fresh perspective on the heart of Jesus, on, on deliverance, on prophecy, and the other gifts of the Holy Spirit and the fivefold ministry. Amen. 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 So Brian, would you like to go into the foundation of what this podcast will look like? Um, kind of explaining what the what the description is. Yeah. So what does Jesus say about us? What, is, what does Jesus say about our identity? Um, a lot of the times we can, actually the majority of the time, we get lost in our identity in the world, in what society tells us, in what our parents tell us, in what even our pastor can say, can say about us the whole time. But at the end of the day, what does Jesus say about us? What does Jesus say about your heart? What does Jesus say about my heart? What does Jesus say about our, our minds? He calls us to renew our minds every single day. And so that's the, the question that is the base and the foundation of this podcast. Um, what does Jesus call us to do as believers? You know, um, he called us to the Great Commission. We know it as the Great Commission, and that is to make disciples of all nations. But there are layers to that. What is what what is what does being a disciple look like? What does being a true believer and a true follower of Christ look like? Well, it looks like going out and healing the sick. It, it looks like stepping out of your comfort zone every once in a while, if not every day, to touch your neighbor, to touch your family, to bring your to, to bring your friend that's been lost in the world to Christ, to heal the sick, to cleanse the leper. 
We don't see much of leprosy these days because that's an old thing, but it still remains the same. Go and cleanse the sick. Cleanse the, the uncurable, the, 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 the people that doctors and medicines say that can't be cured, can be cured in Jesus' name. And Jesus calls us to do that. Jesus calls us to walk out and cast out demons. Yes, people, there are demons that exist and there, there is a war, a battle that is being waged against our souls. But thank you, Jesus, that Jesus died on the cross to save us from that. Amen. But we are still fighting from victory um, in that battle today. Casting out demons and the miracles did not stop with the disciples and the apostles back during the time of Jesus. They continued on. And the church has... Um, the church as a whole has kind of stifled and 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 um, minimized the power of Jesus that is still relevant in bringing the gospel to the four corners of the earth today. And so, guys, the podcast, the description of this podcast is just to enlighten everyone and to bring the good news that you have authority to walk in delivering people and 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 setting the captives free from bondage in jesus name in jesus mighty name yes. so i'm representing the shirt deliverance is essential deliverance was essential in the time of jesus and it's even more essential in the time right now amen so deliverance the lord has really put a a big kind of highlight in deliverance with my own personal walk mm -hmm. and so through through this podcast we are going to be able to, to, to share stories about how deliverance looks like in this time and age. You know, yeah. if it's on the platform of, of Hungry Gen's prayer line that we do once a month, if it's, mm -hmm. if it's the, if it is one-on-one -on -one deliverance, if someone's reaching out through Isaiah Saddleworth's deliverance map, if it is over Zoom, if it's over the phone, or if it's in person, the thing about the Holy Spirit is he is omnipresent. He can reach amen, amen. anyone, anywhere, at any time. Come on. So and that goes with deliverance. The Holy Spirit can touch anyone at any time. Yes. And so amen. through this through this journey, through this, this podcast, it's going to be structured in a multifaceted way. We're going to go live. Our, our, our goal is to go live every other week, mm -hmm. but to have content push out every week. We're going to have pre-recorded episodes. We're going to have opportunities to have Q and A's. We are going to go ahead and, and take the opportunities to, uh, to have guest speakers on, Amen. you know, we're, we're also going to have the opportunity to share the testimonies that that are prevalent in people's lives nowadays, healing testimonies, deliverance testimonies, yes. all the testimonies that reflect Jesus. Now, these are testimonies that not only going to be through the ministry of this live stream, but through through the local church, through through whatever the Lord has set you free from. If that was a physical harm, if it was a soul wound, but we want to hear about it all. We want to be able to glorify Jesus every single chance that we get. Amen. And that is what the true foundation of what this podcast is to do, to, to just light the fire that Jesus is still moving. The Holy Spirit is still moving yes. right now, right here, Amen. because that is what he did for us. Amen. He died on the cross for us and gifted us the Holy Spirit so that we may walk out the ministry that he had here on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That gets me pretty pumped up. Heck yeah. And so that is... That is our that is our description of of the podcast overall. Um, to give you a little bit of a preview of what's to come when it comes to episode two, we're going to go into a little bit more of our introduction, myself and and Brian. But we're also going to share our own personal testimonies and the importance of testimonies. You know, testimonies is it's all for the glorification of the Lord. You know, nowadays and age. It's, it's so easy for, for us as a generation to, to hide what the Lord has done. Mm. But why would we want to do that? Come on. Why would we want to do that? It is time for us to stand in faith and unity as the body of Christ to share each and every single day what yes. the Lord continues to do in yes. each and every single one of our lives. Amen. 
Now, our Definitely. audience really just doesn't, we, we really don't want it to be just believers. We want to be able to reach the non-believers. We mm-hmm. want them to be able to come in, to tune in, and to be able to, to hear the heart of Jesus mm-hmm. being spoken through Brian and I. Amen. We know that without a doubt that we are nothing without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That so if true. it wasn't for Jesus Christ dying on the cross for us, we would have nothing. Yeah. We would we would be on a very, very dark path going downward. But because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us, we are now on the path to go upward, to Amen. spend eternity with the one and only Jesus Christ, the Amen. God Almighty. Amen. You know, testimonies ha- have a really huge part in my life because when I first started going to Hungry Gen, that was the first time that um, testimonies took up a portion of the service. And like whenever any other church, like no no other church that I've been to really takes the time to to um, uh, to explore uh, the 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 um, the topic of testimonies for 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 first. And also they don't set aside a time in their service to give testimonies and to, um, and to, you know, uh, walk in that faith and show that faith. And so when I went to Hungry Gen for the first time, and I saw that I was blown away and then encouraged my faith. And that's what it's supposed to do. Testimonies are supposed to encourage your faith. Also, speaking to what you said about this show, not just being for believers, we are trying to um, expand on this overall topic. And we're not, not only doing that, but we're also giving a fresh perspective. Casey and I are new to podcasting. Casey and I are new to live streaming. And so yes. this is going to be fresh off the tree every single episode, especially yes. the live ones. Um, as much as I'm excited to pre-record for, for every other Friday, I'm even more excited for the live streams. Yes. Because this is where Q&As are, are begin, going to become fun. Because um, Q&As um, are especially for the non-believer who has questions and we're going to do our best with the leading of the Holy Spirit to answer those um, as best as we can and to give you more of an idea and get some keys for you to unlock your destiny in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, guys, this is something that, you know, this is truly dear to our hearts. And um, we, we appreciate everyone's support, you know, here, here through these different platforms, through Instagram, through Facebook, through YouTube. And we just, we really want to stand in faith with you. We want to partner with you and we want to, to walk life with you. Amen. You know, the body of Christ is a very significant part of what Jesus's walk was. Yes. You know, he had 12 disciples for a reason, mm-hmm. you know, and so we, we, we are created, we are designed to walk life out with like-minded people. Amen. And, and this gives us an opportunity to build even more of a uh, of a strong united front of the body of Christ. Not only the body of Christ, but we are also going to be exploring what it means to be the end time warriors for Jesus. Come on. That we're that we're not only going to be sharing, you know, sharing about what the Lord has done in the past, but we're going to go after the enemy to, to deliver, to pray for those prayers for deliverance, to pray for those prayers for healing and restoration, restoration for the physical and for the soul wounds right here, right now in Jesus mighty name. Amen. As we go live, we want to continue to, to build our faith, to build each other's faith, your guys' faith with watching the miracles unravel themselves as we pray for the live viewers to to show that the Holy Spirit is truly omnipresent, that he can reach you right where you are, right here, right now. The simple prayer, Lord, remove anything that is not of you in my life. Mm -hmm. And when you pray that simple prayer, that simple prayer of just, surrendering to him amen he will set you free in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name amen 
I can even testify to that. Being able to surrender everything really, truly brings freedom. And full surrender is laying your pride aside and letting the Lord say, hey, I, I know you're messed up, but let me just enter the deepest part of your heart. Amen. But the only way he can do that is if we surrender. Amen. And I, I know it's hard. And, you know, we'll, we'll delve into, dive into this, into this subject, you know, at, at, on a later episode, but there is no, um, that I, I cannot express the importance enough of, of, of total surrender and what that can do to totally transform your mind, for, transform your life for the better. Everything is better with Jesus in your life. Amen. Everything, everything. There is nothing here on earth that can satisfy you more than what Jesus can. Amen. Amen. Jesus fills the voids that we thought were impossible to fill. Come on. Jesus provides the comfort and the peace in the storms. For when you dwell in him, even in the middle of the storm, you will find peace if you are dwelling and trusting in the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. We want to take the time to lift up this podcast in prayer. Yes. To be able to pray for those who are tuning in and live stream on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, and to, to pray for that deliverance, for that healing for you and, and to, to, to allow the open platform of if you have any prayer requests, if, if, if you've been just wanting to stand in prayer with someone else, mm -hmm. please, 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 our, our social medias are in the description. Please direct message either Brian or I, and we will pray for you. Yes. We will pray for you. That is something that is so dear to both of our hearts is to, is to pray for our viewers, to pray as we, as we grow, mm -hmm. as we, as we walk in that surrender to Holy Spirit, we are not, we are not those who walk the narrow path by ourselves, but we are those who walk the narrow path with one another. Amen. And that means praying for one another earnestly. Amen. You know, my favorite verse, first Peter four, eight, and above all love one another earnestly for love covers a multitude of sins. Amen. The more you're able to receive God's love, the more you're able to, to truly receive it in your heart. Mm -hmm. It flows through you and out of you to those who you care about. Amen. That is Amen. what loving one another earnestly. And that through honest accountability allows you to, to walk at how Jesus created us to walk and to, to prevent your brothers and sisters in Christ from falling into that sin that is that can be so detrimental to each and every single one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The title of this broadcast currently, the title of this first episode is called The Call. And the reason why, um, why we called that is because, honestly, like both you and I, Casey, we're stepping out into a calling yeah. in this season that God has impressed upon our hearts. Yeah. There's different calls for different seasons, but there is the greater call, and that is the Great Commission. You know, the 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 making disciples and uh, of all nations, and to you know go heal the sick, cast out demons, and perform miracles just like D Jesus did. Now, some of you are wondering, okay, what is my call? And I don't know how to overflow with that love. Part of what we're going to pray for, I just feel this in my, in my, in my spirit, to really pray, for not just for this podcast, but for the title, the call, in each and, one of our, uh, each and every one of our lives. Amen. Um, to be able to, um, to, to, to surrender fully so that we can not only invite the love of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus into our hearts, but to be able to overflow that. Amen. Because sometimes, not going to lie, I can be selfish, <laughs> and I can take all the love of God for myself. Um, and honestly, in some seasons, there's nothing wrong with that. 
um, because some of us need that extra, that extra, that extra umph. Amen. But one thing about Jesus's love is abundant and overflowing. Amen. The reason why he said it's overflowing is because it's meant to come in, cleanse, purify, detoxify, fill, and be fulfilled, but overflowing so that we are now pouring it out into our community, into our neighbors, into our family, and inviting with that love, we are inviting those people to now have a relationship with the Jesus that is impacting our lives every day. And so that is the great call that God asks us to love our neighbors yes. as we love ourselves and as we love Jesus and as Jesus loves us. Amen. So we're going to take the time to, to start praying. We're going to lift up the podcast. Um, but as we start praying, we really just want... Um, you guys to, to spam the chat with prayer requests, yes. you know, really, really just, we want this time to, sh to, to prove to you that we are being intentional, not just for the content that we want to push out, but to standing in faith with you guys. Amen. So Lord, we just lift up this Thank podcast. You, Lord, we just ask that as this podcast grows and as we, yeah, as we, Jesus. as we push the content out that we feel like you have put it in our hearts to push, Lord, we just ask mm. that we just continue to walk in humility mm -hmm. and to walk in surrender to your Holy Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, Lord. We just pray mm. as humble servants, as humble vessels of yours, Lord, that you just bless this podcast and bless the viewers and the people who may see it now, who may see it tomorrow, who may see it a year from now. Lord, we just ask and pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you, Jesus that your anointing, that your calling, that your flow just touches this and touches the viewers, Lord. Amen. Lord, we just lift up the viewers right now in Jesus' mighty name. That those who Amen. have taken the time to tune in. For we know that our time is precious, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for allowing them to have the opportunity to tune in. To, to sacrifice a little bit of their own time to tune in, Lord. We, we are praying and we are standing with our viewers. And we just pray blessings and healing and restoration in their physical body, in their soul, and in their mind, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Guys, as we do this podcast, we want to instill this into, in, into you guys. If, if, if you have to leave with one thing today, is that not only we are called to do what Jesus did, and greater things did he say that we will do. We will do greater things than even he did, which is amazing. How unfathomable is that? Amen. But not only that, but... Distance is not a barrier for the Holy Spirit. Amen. The other reason why the Holy Spirit instilled this on cases and cases in my heart is because we know for a fact we go to a church that the majority of their congregation is online. And we're receiving testimonies out of, out of testimonies of how the Holy Spirit is impacting them through Zoom, through live stream on Facebook and, and, and Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. It's amazing, guys, to see the amount of testimonies. And we're, we're not just talking about, oh, Casey, thank, thank you, Jesus. I, I got healed of my cold. That's great. That's awesome. But we're seeing testimonies. My limb grew. My back pain is gone. My scoliosis is gone. My rheumatoid arthritis is gone. My Amen. headache, my migraines are gone. Amen. And we're talking about migraines that have been happening for years. Yeah. We're talking about cysts disappearing, tumors disappearing, cancer disappearing. Amen. And people are, are backing this up with documents from the doctors. And this is crazy. So distance is not a barrier. So we're using this podcast. We're using these live streams so the Holy Spirit can reach you no matter where you are, no matter where you're listening from, and no matter where you're watching from. And no matter what the timestamp is, you could be live with us, but you could be re-watching this live stream, you know, five months from now, and it will still impact you if you allow the Holy Spirit to impact you in Jesus name. Amen. So we have a couple of comments coming in for, for prayer requests. Yeah. I'll monitor yeah. this one. 
we uh, we have Jason Just here that is that is tuning in on YouTube. Hey, Jason, how's it going? We are we are gonna lift up salvation for yours and your wife's children right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that the Holy Spirit intervenes, Lord, as you see Jason's and his wife's children Amen. being lifted up in prayer that you just re, you just tear the veil you just tear the veil and you just intercede lord we Amen. want them we yearn for them we Amen. pray Amen. for them Jesus. to encounter oh, you yeah, in a way that is undoubtedly only jesus thank you lord. we pray in for that jesus salvation name. We pray that their name be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Lord, through the intercession of a praying mother, of a praying father, and a praying body in Christ for their children's salvation. We stand in prayer right now in the mighty name of Jesus that their children's name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In the Lamb's Book of Life, it will be written and it will be un- capable of being erased in the mighty name of Jesus for they Amen. will be like David Amen. a person after God's own heart yes Lord and we pray this in Jesus mighty name Amen. 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 Jason, I wanted to encourage you. We have an amazing testimony from um, our church. I forgot who. Oh, yeah. Sylvia. Sylvia Parkachuk. She is one of the pastor's wives, but um, she has an amazing testimony of how she was dedicated to the point where all her family came to Jesus. Amen. And now her her younger brother is 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 serving um, on worship team and on different areas of our of our church, and he's he's amazing. He is a, he's an asset to our church, guys. You are the key to someone's deliverance. You Amen. are the key to someone's salvation. You are the key to someone's freedom. Now the Holy Spirit might use, you know, someone else, but 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 he is calling you first because guess what? You are the closest to your family. Amen. God either God will use you or he will use someone else, but you are the key. You have the authority, you have the power to declare there is power of life and death in your tongue. Amen. You can speak life into your family. You can speak life into the generational curses and generational sickness that is in your family. And you can command it out in Jesus' name. Amen. And you can pray and intercede for your family's salvation. And God will hear your prayer. Hear, hear your prayer. Amen. Amen. Um, let's see. Nothing on my side, I don't think. Anything on Instagram? Yeah, so if you're just tuning in on Instagram, and if you have a prayer request, we are taking the time right now to 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 pray for those prayer requests to lift Amen. those lift anything literally anything that you have that that you that you have on your heart to lift up in prayer we are here wanting to to take this time to pray you know as Amen. as we as we as we wait for these prayer requests to come in we just do want to ask that you uh, subscribe uh, on YouTube um, Amen. yep. You know, for, for those who, who haven't subscribed yet, you know, our, our YouTube channel is called reflecting him. Um, but also like we said, uh, a few minutes ago, please, please, please take the time to, to send Brian and I prayer requests. Amen. You know, that's something that, that we are a praying community, Amen. you know, at, at life group on Tuesdays, um, we, we take the time to pray and intercede for, for one another. Um, and, and truly there are testimonies after testimonies of, of a gentleman's, of, of one, one of our, one of our members, his praying for his uncle for, for five months, even though it's taken five months, his uncle finally came to church. His Amen. uncle finally joined his nephew to church in Jesus mighty name. Amen. You know, so please, please take the time to subscribe on YouTube. Take the time to to give us a follow on our social medias and to send us prayer requests. We want yes. to stand in faith with you. We want to pray. You know, something that something that we we want to really encourage is transparency, honesty, and vulnerability. Yeah. You know, as we share our testimonies, as we as we share certain episodes, it will be 
it will be times for us to be vulnerable with you. Um, and we would love for, for you guys to partner with us in that yes. as well. So we just got a prayer request, prayer request in from, from Instagram. So Jessica, Jessica Lynn, pray that my eyes and ears be open to the voice and the move of God. I feel like there's a hindrance in those areas, spiritual, spirituality, spiritually, yeah. sorry. In Jesus' mighty name, we lift up Jessica Lynn right now in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Holy in Spirit, name touch Jesus. her. Holy Spirit, touch her. Anything that is blocking your voice, your oh, presence, gosh. your flow in her life, I command it to leave right now in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. I command it to leave right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Holy Spirit, touch her. Holy Spirit, touch her in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. That her er eyes and ears be able to hear your voice and her eyes to be able to see the miracles that, you're that you are performing right in front of her eyes, Lord. We just lift this up Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. That there, if there is any type of demonic yeah. spirit that is trying to block the Holy Spirit, we cut you out. We bind you and we cast you to the pit in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. For we know that deliverance is for believers. Amen. We know that as the Holy Spirit is in us, that that light of the Holy Spirit cannot, it cannot, the darkness that tries to outshine the Holy Spirit is incapable of doing so. Lord, I just ask that the Holy Spirit that is within her just shine on all darkness that is preventing her Amen. from growing in a more and more intimate relationship with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Over here we have um, uh, uh, Jose uh, from our earth. No, is it Jose yeah, or Jean? Jose. Yeah. Um, from our group. Uh, he says, prayer for family and um, family uh, and, his, and the people in his house. All right. Um, I'm going to lift that up in prayer. And then um, afterwards, could you pray for Sarah? Pray for my family's healing. We have been having cold flu and I know God can take it away 100%. Amen. 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 All right. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Jose. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, touch him where he is at right now. I pray for his family, I cover them with the blood of Jesus, and I ask for the Holy Spirit to put a hedge of protection over them yes, in Jesus', Jesus mighty name. Yes, I come Jesus. against everything that is separating yes, them. Jesus. I come against the demonic uh, entities that are trying to separate and scatter the sheep. Scatter yes, them in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I ask that you reunite them in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, you are the glue that keeps families together. Faith and love keeps families together. In the name of Jesus, I speak the love of Jesus. I speak the heart of Jesus over his family now. And I speak restoration in his family now. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, I lift up Sarah right now and her family. In Jesus' mighty name. That we know that sickness is not our portion in, in here on earth. We pray right now that the Holy Spirit fire healing power flows through each and every single member of her family, of her family members right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, Come Lord, on. do what only you can do. We ask for that yeah, gift right. of healing and restoration to remove the sickness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will feel their sinuses clear up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That the sinus headaches, the sinus infections be cleared out right now. That any type of itchiness in the throat be cleared out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any fever mm. symptoms, any, any flu symptoms be broken Amen. off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask... Amen. As humble servants of you, Lord, that the gift of healing to just flow through Sarah and her family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sarah, I have a question for you. Um, uh, d d does your family have a lot of sickness? Like, Amen. like, um, 
like colds and flus like all the time. I I don't know why the Holy Spirit gave me that question to ask you, but um, I I I have a I have a feeling to to pray against the spirit of infirmity over your family. Uh, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be watching out for that. Um, anything from from Instagram? So we have a praise report that okay. Jessica Lynn. She said, "Thank you. I felt some breakthrough. I feel lighter and more clear. Hallelujah. Come Amen. On. Praise Amen. God. Glory to God." Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Dylan. Oh, hi, Dylan. How's it? How's it going on hey. YouTube? Um, this is Harrison's roommate. Yes. Yeah, okay. So um, he said, "Keep my knees in your prayers." I've been dealing with uh, patel patellar uh, tendonitis and knee pain since September. Anything helps. God bless y'all. Of course, we will pray, man. Yes, in Jesus. the name of Jesus, I speak to that patellar tendonitis in Jesus name and I command it to leave every pain leave in Jesus name Dylan I want you to put your hand on the screen and receive this healing now in Jesus name and place one hand on your knee in Jesus name I command that pain and spirit of infirmity to yes, leave Jesus. now every yes, generational Jesus. curse of pain every knee uh, every generational curse of knee pain to the family I command it to break off now in the name mm. of Jesus every pain Leave now in Jesus name. Holy Spirit touches knees. I command all the cartilage to be replaced and restored. I command the cushions in the knees and every um, the, 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 uh, the pockets of fluid yes, in the knees Jesus. to be restored and and uh, re almost said restored and refurbished. Restored in Jesus Renewed name. In Jesus Amen. I name. command all Healing and full restoration, 100% restoration yes, to the knees Jesus. now in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus. Dylan, I want you to comment in the com in the chat uh, the 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 pain level from this from the scale of one to ten. One being no pain, ten being the worst pain. And uh, we'll keep praying if um, if it's if it's anywhere in that area. But if it's fully healed, praise the Lord. Amen. So, uh, Sarah so says. This is our fourth flu this year. Mm. Wow. All right. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of yes, infirmity Jesus. over Sarah's family to leave now in Jesus' name. Be yes. cast out now in the name of Jesus. All infirmity leave that family in the name of Jesus. I command every grip of the enemy to be loosened in Jesus' name. And I speak freedom and restoration in that family now. I command freedom in the health. Freedom in physical health. Freedom in emotional health. Freedom in mental health. In Jesus' name. Every generational curse of, of colds. Every generational curse of infirmity. Be broken now in Jesus' name. I speak freedom now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Renee, we are. We're gonna lift up your we're gonna lift up your your church right now. Lord, we just pray right now that their spiritual eyes be opened. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That the veil be torn. And that the radical supernatural power of the Holy Spirit just comes and infiltrates. Come on. Amen. That the awareness of how real the spiritual realm is, is just brought to their reality. That the desire to cast out demons, to heal the sick, to prophesy, Ooh. to work in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and to reflect the fruits Amen. of the Holy Spirit, just be so known and prevalent in your church, Renee. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name. We stand as the body of Christ. That the gospel, that the great commission flow through each and every single believer that has received Jesus Christ in their hearts. Amen. For faith without, without works is dead. Lord, I ask that the faith that drives your work, that drives the great commission, to be laborers of your harvest just ignites in each and every single believer in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 I want to speak uh, freedom over you just just click it yeah. Um over anxiety and depression. Guys, anxiety and depression is having its way in our generation. And it will stop in Jesus' name. It 
is 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 so prevalent in our society and and the way we're talking about it is even is is even though we're trying to speak against it if we don't speak against it in the name of Jesus oh, we're we're actually we're actually glorifying it we're actually idolizing it we're making it bigger than it actually is. Jesus and his power is bigger than anxiety. It is bigger Amen. than depression. It is bigger than worry. It is bigger than stress. Amen. You think you you think you have stress, you know, in, in your in your final exams, you know, senior year? Jesus will take care of that. I know his final exams are already over, but I'm just using that as, as example. There's nothing too small for Jesus. Yes. There is Amen. no small knee pain for Jesus. There is no you know, oh, there's nothing too big for Jesus. Oh, I have a, I have, I have cancer, but, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna die. Amen. No, I rebuke that in Jesus' right. name. Right. Jesus will heal you and will reach you at the point of your need. Amen. If you have anxiety, if you have impression, depression, if you are dealing with stress, chronic stress, if you are dealing with chronic pain in the shoulders and in the back, I'm, 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 I'm seeing a lot of chronic back pain. Spam the comments, drop it in the comments, and we're going to pray over it. We're going to do a mass prayer now in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I speak Jesus. against all anxiety. I speak against the spirit of anxiety yes, and torment, the spirit of depression, yes, the spirit Jesus. of stress, every spirit behind those things. I rebuke it, and I cast it out in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to everyone who has anxiety. There is nothing too big for Jesus to, to overcome. I speak free. Freedom in that area in Jesus mighty name I come against and I cancel every curse of anxiety and 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 stress in Jesus mighty name I come against every worry and every doubt I come against every lie of the enemy that says that you are anxiety ridden that you are that you have mental issues that you have mental health issues I rebuke that in Jesus mighty name I reverse every diagnosis in Jesus mighty name the doctors are saying that you have that you have chronic depression that you have that you have bipolar disorder I rebuke that in Jesus name you will go back to the doctors and they will that they will say that you have you don't have that anymore. In Jesus' mighty name, I am standing in faith that our generation will be free of anxiety and depression now. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Dylan is saying, I feel no pain at the moment. Still checking because it is a reoccurring issue. It has been very on and off. Okay. But I give thanks to God and thanks for keeping me. Amen. Amen. Keep staying in faith, Dylan, and message us with your testimony. I really believe that Jesus is going to heal you, that your knee pain is going to be no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So our YouTube channel is called Reflecting Him. Reflecting Him Podcast. Reflect, Reflecting Him Podcast. Yeah. If you do, it, it, it'll come up. Once we get more subscribers, it will become more more prevalent. It'll get to the top. Um, you may have to do some searching, but we'll post links. We'll post links. Yes, absolutely. All right, Renee, you'll be taking a blood test. Haven't taken it in four months and have been good. But it's time for a blood check. I know he has. He has, or if he hasn't, he will cure me in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we just pray for that healing and that restoration over you, Renee. Thank you, that Jesus. That we stand in that faith. And that healing and that restoration of your blood in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We hold on to the truth that Jesus has given us. Amen. That our portion on earth as it is in heaven. Which Amen. means that we walk in freedom and in a very, very healthy, clean report. And Amen. that includes our blood. That includes each and every single part of our body. So we are praying for you, brother. We are praying for you. That, that healing has came to fruition and that blood test will be normal in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Amen. Yeah, so I think this is a good time to to end. You know, I, I can't thank you guys enough for... Let me just... No, I got it, bro. You got everything? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. Sweet. So, 
We, yeah, so we're going to take this time to end. We thank you so much for, for tuning in, for those who, who stopped in even for a little bit. We, yeah. we, just, we just ask that, um, yeah, that you just continue to, to walk beside us as we, as we want to walk beside you um, as, uh, in this journey of yeah. starting something completely new to us. But, hey, we're all here together, yeah. and, and we, will, we will lift everyone up. It's like moving into a new neighborhood and getting to know everyone, but knowing that it's a bomb neighborhood that's going to be packed full of fun and, and block parties. Guys, we want to start a community uh, with this. We want to start a journey with you guys. We want to invite you along on our journey. Um, and we, and guys, I hope that you invite us on your journey because doing Amen. life together is so much easier than doing life alone. Guys, Amen. you have no idea. Um, once I stepped into a life group for the first time, it, it, and once I especially stepped into into Casey's life group, um, guys, I can't express the importance of community, not just yes. in your church. Guys, let me tell you, you can go to church and not be in a community. Can I get a yes? Can amen. I get can I get an amen? Because church, there the four walls, yes, yeah, a group of people. But if you're not in a church or a community of believers that is community driven, that is it is, is driven by oh guys, let's go to lunch, let's let's go get coffee, mm-hmm. let's you know um, where the where the pastor's not just preaching but also going out into the community. Guys, be plugged into a church yes. um, like Hungry Gen or or some or some similar church that is community driven, that is life driven, and wants to do life with you. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. And yes. tune in next week. Um, we'll be releasing episode two, The Power of, T- of the Testimony. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Awesome. See you then.